attacks that have taken place in the Washington area were surprisingly bloody. At least 200 people have been killed in the space of 24 hours. Witnesses described cannibalistic. What's left of our military is set at the final front line. New York City is under siege from the creatures as people desperately try to barricade their homes for safety. Our borders have been closed. We've been isolated by our out. The entire eastern seaboard of the United States appears to be overrun with the creatures. They were frenzied with incredible strength. I've never seen anything like it before. It tore them apart. As army forces regroup, civilians are attempting to flee the cities before darkness falls once more. To my countrymen, head west to the California <laughs> not be part of this world. Madam President, the Sears plan. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It is. You're not going to lecture me on being outside. No, I've done that enough. Have you ever gardened, Andrew? I can't say that I have. I love it. There's a beauty to it, an art, in being able to manipulate nature and caring for it. With all due respect, Madam President. I don't like the Sears plan. Andrew. It's not a plan the end of the world. Succinctly put, 
I heard that a splinter group have tried penetrating the Canadian wall. They were shot on sight by the machine gun drones. There were families. I know. My son, he tried about five years ago. What do you need? I want you to try to contact London. But Sears... Sears is lying. We've still got advanced telecommunications. We may be ignored, but we are heard. They wouldn't risk not knowing. How do you know that? Because I wouldn't. Too much at stake. Well, people have tried, but they've fallen on deaf ears. That's because we're trying to speak to the wrong people. I'll try. Thank you. It's a beautiful garden, Madam President. I'd like to keep it that way, Andrew. See to it. <laughs> It's me. Yeah, I can see that. You left without a chick in your arms. I found her outside. Is she human? Yeah, I found her in broad daylight. Yeah, they have sunscreen, you know. I checked her eyes. Your dad doesn't allow outsiders. We don't have the supplies. She can have my supplies. She needs help. Your dad sees this. You're going to be the one who needs some help. Are you going to let me in? <sighs> who the hell is that? I don't know. She needs help. All right, come with me. Attention all personnel. Due to gas shortage, all helicopter usage must now be authorized by the unit commander. <sighs> Set it right there. <sighs> She's exhausted. Exhausted and dehydrated, I'll bet. How long was she in the desert for? No idea. Night, isn't it? It's a beautiful city. It really is. I've watched it change over the years, rising up out of the gutters and mediocrity up to the grandeur that it is now. The splendor. It must be strange to have everything so recent, so fresh. How old are you? 19? 20? 18. Jesus. So young. So unaware of how precarious life can be. Please. I don't have much left to give. I know. I can sense it. I need help. Would you let me help you? Was she? A volunteer. She crossed over to, to die? To live. Oh. Well, I do love the heart of a volunteer. It's a nice warm up. Sir, 
I think that we need to probably not think too much about things that don't concern you. That's how you get in trouble. Of course. Have you found her yet? There is no sign of your daughter, sir. That's impossible. She's got a chip inside of her for that exact purpose. The chip is no longer new. The signals are sporadic. So, follow the last signal. We are. Vigo is pursuing her. So where is Vigo tracking her to? We believe that he's passed into no man's land. Where? The south. New Mexico. She's heading west towards the human territory. Assemble the team. If Vigo doesn't come back by dawn, send them in. Into no man's land? That would break the Bloody Sunday Agreement, sir. What? We agreed not to cross over no man's land into human territory in exchange for the weekly blood donation of every human. I know what the Bloody Sunday Agreement is. We agreed not to cross the boundaries and to police our own people. Otherwise, they'll cut the blood supply off. What if they did? The humans will see that as an act of war. We are at war. This isn't peace. This is simply a stalemate. It's a time for both sides to rally their forces. I mean, I mean, do you really think that they like lining up and bleeding for us every Sunday? And how about us? How many of us are actually satisfied to have it given to them in Tupperware like some rancid TV dinner? Nah, our purpose is to hunt. Theirs is to be hunted. Someone is bound to break the peace eventually, either us or them. They wouldn't dare break the terms. There's too many of us to defeat them. And if we did? Well, if we killed and turned them, there'll be nobody else to feed from. Not in this country. Assemble the team. Sir, Marcus... Marcus will understand that I could not leave my daughter. I don't think this is a good idea. You'll do as I say. Yes, Victor. Doc, we just got a fresh supply run. 200 vials of antibiotics. They're all unlabeled. Nobody has idea which is which. Well, it's a good thing I didn't have any plans this evening. Excuse me. Jerry. I have asked you repeatedly to call me dad. Sorry, dad. Why do you do that? You think these guys don't know you're my son? You think they don't tell me when you wander off site without permission? Dad. No, Adam, it's dangerous out there. I work better at scavenging alone, you know that. Oh, you do? Good. Because we need like a ton of stuff, right? We need uh, radio parts, copper wire, food, water, ammunition. So which one of those is she? She must have come from the settlements, maybe Briarstown or Mercy's Point. All right, Lucky. Make some inquiries, see who claims her. Yes, sir. Maybe she was trying to escape from one of them. The settlements are lawless. She'll tell us when she wakes up. I'm mindful, son, that this is probably the first girl your age that you've seen in quite some time. Hey, I, I didn't notice. She can't stay. When she's well enough, when she wakes up, she goes back on the next supply run. Understood. Son, you know, maybe you should too. What? Head back west. You know, school, girls. Yeah, we talked about this. I you know. are my family. Yeah, but listen, son, I just want you to have a life, and this is anything but a life. It's not that easy. Well, nothing worth having is. Sir, we just lost radio communication and video in the east entrance. Damn it. This is not over. I'm sorry to disturb, sir, but I have something to tell you. I know I shouldn't be here, but Yvonne has gone missing. Who 
Victor's daughter, we believe that she's crossed into no man's land. Impossible. Does he know you're here? No. No, he doesn't. Yes. Yes, sir. Is it them, Daddy? Oh, buddy, hey, don't worry about that. Listen, just hold tight on to Mom. Oh, you hold them. You hold them, you're stronger. You don't have time to just Listen, 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 if you have to run, you run with them, right? He has to survive. He has to survive. <sighs> Miss, miss. It's okay, okay. You're among friends. Friends? Yeah. Please, just sit back down. It's okay. Look, you're malnourished, all right? You need to eat something. Physically, you're okay. Please, okay? Sit. Why did you... Why did you rescue me? You were alone. We have to stick together. Do you want something to drink? Yes, please. I'll check your pulse. It's okay, it's okay. Look, you seem okay. But I recommend some food, rest, and rehydration. It's pretty basic stuff here. I can arrange a room for you to stay before the supply run. You're a doctor? No, not exactly. I'm the closest to have to one, though. She can't stay here? Well, Adam, the bed's here at a premium. But I can see what I can do, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. You found me? Yeah, you were past seven. How did I get here? Attention all personnel. I carried you. Hand-to-hand combat training with Corporal Luckin has been moved from 1,300 Thanks. hours to 1,500 hours. Yvonne. Yvonne. Welcome to the Haven. General, walk me through it. Madam President, in the Nevada missile silos, we have 112 tactical nuclear missiles at our disposal. We launch a first strike on the East Coast. We could effectively wipe the vampire population clean from the planet. How would that look internationally? Well, since the United States was in quarantine for 10 years, communication with the outside world is non-existent. The British and the Chinese worked in tandem to make sure communication is cut off. 
Our signals on the outside border jammed. Satellites either shot down or remotely hijacked and can no longer be used. We've been cut off from everywhere. Do we know if the vampire virus ever spread beyond the US? Asia? I don't know. Australia, New Zealand? We don't know. Ma'am, they've cut us off. They've put the communication embargoes and no-fly zones in place to leave us to fend for ourselves. We can't get a ship more than a mile offshore before it's sunk. Forget about an aircraft beyond the border. Their drones, destroy them the instant they get off the ground. We need to sort this problem ourselves. By bombing our own country. How do you think they'll respond when their satellite images light up like Christmas trees? We'll break silence. We'll tell them that we have fixed the problem ourselves. We should try telling them now before we scorch the Earth. Impossible without being sure the vampire community hasn't intercepted it and gotten wind of our plan. Really? They won't kill innocent people. That's a lot of faith in people we haven't seen in 10 years. What about fallout? Well, we have to carefully choose the right time to strike based on our period of attack on the prevailing winds. And hopefully to ensure that most of the radioactive fallout is able to dissipate across the Atlantic. You should be okay. Should, gentlemen? This sounds like a Hail Mary play, risking contaminating our own country. Worse, the rest of the world. We could end up precipitating Armageddon. With all due respect, you and I know they're not gonna honor the Bloody Sunday Agreement. The infected are probably in New York now making plans such as this. They need us. They need our blood. And there are other ways of getting it. When is the best opportunity to strike? We estimate 10 days, depending on weather conditions and preparation. Get everything ready. Start preparations. Does this mean that Operation Clean Sweep's been approved? As a human being, I don't approve of it. As president of what remains of the United States, I have no option but to approve. Thank you for your time. Alpha Patrol to East Entrance. Attention all personnel. The air filtration system will be offline from 0 800 hours. How big to is this place? Big enough. You didn't think we all slumber party in the shipping container, did you? We did. We thought we came down here. It's not exactly the Ritz, but... The Ritz? Something my dad says. My mom married a Brit. So. Where's your mom? You can stay here till the next supply run. You're dehydrated. Are you sure you don't want something to drink? No. Uh, look, I should go. I don't want to be in any trouble. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're not a prisoner. You can leave whenever you want. It's just the desert gets cold and... Are you sure you're not thirsty? What are you doing? Attention all personnel. Sorry. No, um. Please ensure all rifles I meant here. This place. What are we supposed to talk about? We're an advanced unit, ready to deploy the east. The signal's given. Signal. How long? Intruder alert. No, no, no! Hold the fire! Hold the fire! Let him come to me! Hey, hey! Come on, come to me! Go, go! Let him come! Let him come! Go, go, go! Come on! Philip, you all right? All right. We're gonna grab some guys.
guys, check the perimeter. Go, go, Lucky, go, check the bike side. There. Adam. That was a goddamn vampire. Come on, get inside. Go, down to the bunker. Lock this place down! Nobody in, nobody out! You, you, on me. No. No. It's fine, it's okay. You said you'd release me. Not now. I'm sorry to disturb you, sir, but I found her. You did? Yes. She's in no man's land. Do you have a precise fix? On her locator, at least. Send the team. M Marcus wants to speak to us both. About what? I don't know, sir, but he wants to speak to us both right now. Victor. Marcus. Having lived for so long, one comes to understand the behavior of all of God's creatures, even the ones he hates. I know you have located your daughter. What I didn't know was that you lost her to begin with. So I did not lie. You have not told us. One does not forget their daughter is missing. You've tried hiding this information. That's a lie. No, it is not. I simply didn't want to bother the elders with such a trivial matter. <laughs> yes, trivial. She's part of a pure bloodline of a family, of our family. There is nothing trivial about this. She has important information. I don't see how. She's simply my daughter. Yes. That is all the leverage that one needs. Her personal locator activated as soon as she crossed into no man's land. I dispatched a drone to take care of the problem. My daughter? <clears throat> Vigo. We've already sent him out there. He's probably apprehended her and is bringing her back right now. If he had, then they would both be dead. The drone would have killed her instantly. There was enough firepower to burn her over 10,000 times. Please. But she's still alive. Somehow, despite our best effort, our personal locator confirms that she's still moving. What if she's already encountered humans? In no man's land? It's possible. That would violate the Bloody Sunday Agreement. And provide information. If they were there and they captured her, imagine everything that she would have learned. No. Oh, you have quite the student, Victor. Yes, it appears I do. Very well. Continue with your retrieval. But she must be brought to me directly for interrogation and punishment. Of course. Leave us. You should rest, Victor. Trust in me. Trust in our kind. I do trust you, Marcus. And I trust our kind. Very well. 
The sun is rising, my friend. Sleep well. Control, this is Control Team Beta, authentication code Echo 924. We have completed surgery sweep of Sector 924 and are now moving east towards Briarstown Passage for a sweep of Sector 642. Copy that, Beta Team. Sector 642 is showing up as clear on the infrared. You are authorized to proceed. Jerry? Yeah? Jerry. Roger, Control. This is Patrol Team Beta. Out. Is that the girl your son brought back here? Yes, it is. Holy. How is she even doing? Oh, my God. She's one of them. Should I sound the alarm? No, find my son. Anybody have eyes on Adam? How did you? Attention, all personnel. The air filtration system will be. You're a vampire. Why did you come here? There isn't time. I came to warn you. Well, why didn't you feed on us? Because I'm not hungry enough, but I can stay. If I stay, I won't be able to control it. I'll end up hurting people. I don't want to do that. But you don't look like one of them. You don't all look alike. I'll change if I get hungry too. Please, let me go. Hey! Don't move. Dad. Please, just let me go. Adam, take a step away from that thing. You have no idea what it is. Dad, she told me what she is. I know. She's one of the things that killed your mother. Step away. No, I have never killed. Just let me leave, and the problem leaves with me. Was the other one with you? You're still looking for me. I just want this to end. Dad, she's just a girl, OK? Just. She's not leaving. The UV light has no effect on her. Do it. What are you? A missile launch. What? Into no man's land from upstate New York. Where? The Haven. How in the hell did they know? The Jerry, the commander, he said they found a girl. That's the last communication we got. Get General Armstrong. We need a team out there. Okay, but if they did launch. I know. It's a prelude to war. I gotta get you to safety. Come on. Give me a minute. I'm not facing the end of the world in my underwear. Hurry, Madam President. Some of the pot is down. We're headed to the bunker. Attention all personnel. The air filtration system will be offline for zero eight hundred dollars per hour for essential maintenance. Breakfast call will therefore you okay? be on ground level. Yes. I'm sorry, my dad, he just my mom was killed by one of them. One of you. He just hasn't been the same since. I'm sorry. I've never taken a life. I could never bring myself to do it. Why? Why what? Why don't you look like one of them? Your eyes are beautiful. I mean, uh, they're normal. I've always been different. Felt like I didn't belong to your world or mine. Yeah, I know that feeling. I was trying to leave. I didn't come here. No, to... I, I know, I know. I believe you. What were you doing out there? I'm trying to warn your leader what's coming. What's coming? Adam, you shouldn't be here.
You know, we encountered one of your kind about five years ago. He was weak, near death, if that's a thing for your kind. My commanding officer was a little soft, so we gave him one of the blood bags. He had this crazy idea that if we showed a bit of mercy, a bit of compassion, that we could all live like one big, happy family. I thought it was a crazy idea. <laughs> I didn't have long, though, to think that, because as soon as my commander got just a little too close, he got a smell of him. He went for his jugular, and it was all over in about 20 seconds. There wasn't much left of my commander after that and all because he let his guard down with your kind. I won't hurt you. That's exactly what he said. And with that same believability in the eyes, he really did mean it when he said it. You can't be trusted. There was nothing different about that day. It wasn't colder. The wind hadn't changed direction, but I knew it was wrong. And I haven't felt like that in five years. But I did today, when I saw you. And I knew you were bad news. Let me tell you what else I know. You're tagged. Right? Some electronic tag inside you. Like a rabid dog. Which tells me two things. Number one, you're important. Otherwise, why tag you? I'm sure you won't tell me why. And number two, you were worth sending a drone missile to kill rather than be captured. I wonder why that is. What do you want? Cut it out. Do you want to live? Had enough proof? Stay away from my boy. What are you doing keeping her alive? Intel. What does that mean, Jerry? It means let's wait and see who comes for her. Why? You ever seen one of those things without the soulless yellow eyes? She's different. And she may know something. If she knows anything, she's not telling us. We'll see. We'll see how loyal a hungry dog is. Well, if she is valuable, maybe we can use her to make a deal. And get what? If she's important enough, anything, Jerry. No. No, this only ends one way. What are you looking at? She could have killed me if she wanted to. Attention, East Tunnel has collapsed due to the missile impact. Use South Tunnel exit until further notice. She? It is not a she. That's a thing, Adam. It's one of the same things that killed your mother. Don't you forget that. The ones that killed mom were different, you know that, Dad. Don't be so naive. That's what they look like when they don't feed. They're faster, stronger, more determined to tear us apart. But you know what? I'll take that over that thing in the cell any day, because that thing allows you in. It charms you. It seduces you. And then it feeds on you. And it still feeds. She could have killed me if she wanted to. She would have done Murderers already. don't murder every day, Adam. Wake up! Attention all personnel. The air filtration system will be offline from 0 800 hours for two hours for essential maintenance. This breakfast call will therefore be on ground level. I love you, Adam. I'm just trying to look out for you. But when I saw that thing next to you, it was all too familiar. So please, just let me do what I have to do. What are you gonna do? What I always do. Divert you from danger. Let you live just a little longer. And if you think I'm wrong about that thing, why don't we see how you feel in 48 hours? Why? We because we're not feeding it. Focus, come on. All right.
Where? What? Where am I? You got a dark heart, Nile. Jeez. What am I? Where am I? Should have seen it earlier. Ooh. You helped me find my daughter. That is something that I will never forget. Fix it. Fix, fix it, please. I would choose your words carefully right now, Nile. Dawn's on its way. What's going on? Your betrayal, Nile. I didn't mean to betray you. Your betrayal is something I cannot forgive, though. I, I contacted the elders because I thought it was the, the right thing to do. Yes. Right to serve your own ends. It's just the problem with all you newly turned. It's like you still think like a human. You always just want it now, now, now. Learn my lesson, Victor. No, no, you will not. I'm begging you, Victor. No immortal though as we may be. We are still fragile creatures. I hate you! I hate you! You old man, I hate you for doing this to me! You, I hope you get raped and murdered in the desert by those weaklings! You idiot! See, I wasn't so bad now, was it? In your final moments, at least, you were true to your own dark heart. Oh, oh no! No! Victor! 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 Thank you.